Hello everyone! Today we will be celebrating Multicultural Children's Book Day, which is on January 28th. Multicultural Book Day is to celebrate and to raise awareness for kids' books that celebrate diversity. The book we will be reading today is Beautiful Blackbird by Ashley Bryan. A long, long time ago, the birds of Africa were all colors of the rainbow. Clean, clear colors from head to tail. Oh, so pretty, pretty. Back then, though, birds had no marks of black on their feathers. From the top of their heads to the tips of their tails, no markings of black. Uh-oh. Whether large or small, Blackbird was the only bird who had it all. One day, Ring Dove called the birds to a festival in the forest. He asked them all to meet by the lake where he lived. Birds flew in from all over with a flip, flop, flapping of their wings and a whirring, stirring of the air. They flew down to the lake from everywhere. The birds' colors were mirrored in the waters. There were red, green, yellow, purple, orange, and blue, pink, then black. Black? Blackbird? Huh, blackbird too. Ring dove called, Coo coo roo, coo ka roo. I have a question to ask of you. Who of all is the most beautiful? The color birds never even raised a wing. They raised their beaks and began to sing. Blackbird stands out best of all. Blackbird is the most beautiful. His feathers gleam all colors in the sun. Blackbird is the most beautiful one. The birds circled Blackbird in a beak and wing dance singing, beak to beak, peck, 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 spread your wings, stretch your neck. Black is beautiful, uh-huh. Black is beautiful, uh-huh. They broke out of the circle for the show claws slide. Tip, tap, toe to the left, spin around. Toe, tap, tip to the right, stroke the ground. Wings flip, flapping as you glide forward and backward in a show claws slide. When the birds were into their steps, Ring Dove took Blackbird aside. Oh, Blackbird, Blackbird, coo coo roo, coo ka roo. Would you color me black so that I'll be black like you? My neck is plain and that's a shame cause Ring Dove is my name. Blackbird said, color on, the outside is not what's on the inside. You don't act like me. You don't eat like me. You don't get down in the groove and move your feet like me. But come tomorrow to the sun up dance, I'll brew some blackening in my medicine gourd. Then I'll swing a ring around your neck to go with your name. The next day, the birds gathered. Blackbird stirred the blackening brew in his medicine gourd. He stirred it round and round. Then he dipped his feather brush into the pot. With his free wing, he spun Ring Dove around, holding his brush to Ring Dove's neck. Ring Dove sang, Coo Coo Roo, Coo Ka Roo. See what a swinging ring of black can do. Blackbird bowed to the crowd as a chirping arose. Ring Dove's black is beautiful. Beak to beak, peck, peck, peck. He's just like Blackbird around the neck. Oh, Blackbird, can we have some of that blackening too? We all need what your black can do. You're such an artist with your feather brush. A touch of your black will be good for us. Blackbird said, Tomorrow I'll mix the rest of my black roots in a larger medicine gourd. I'll give what I can until it all gives out. The birds danced the sundown dance, then went to nest. All through the night, the birds dreamed of black. Black markings on the head, tail, wing, front or back. Oh, black is beautiful. Black, black, black. Birds rose at sunup and took to their wings. Oh, way up high, their colors filled the sky. With the flip, flop, flapping of their wings, a stirring, rearing of the air. They flew down to the lake from everywhere. Ring Dove carried the blackbird's large gourd and set it down. Blackbird stirred with a stick in his wing and said, We'll see the difference a touch of black can make. Just remember, whatever I do, I'll be me and you'll be you. Blackbird dipped his feather brush into the pot and tapped out dots. 
Some were large, some were small. Close together or far apart. It was a challenge to Blackbird's art. With strokes long and short, he painted stripes. Blackbird swept his brush strokes steady. He drew lines only when his brush was ready and full with the black, black brew. The paint in the gourd was getting low. Blackbird still had more to go before he had decorated the birds with black, one and all. Save some for, save some for us, cried the small birds. We've been in line and we were on time. We won't step back till we get a touch of black too. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Ring Dove tipped the gourd. Blackbird slipped his brush way, way in. He brushed the rest of the birds with marks and arcs. He black tapped the last small bird of the flock. Then Blackbird sang, I've painted plenty, plenty, plenty. The gourd's now empty, empty, empty. The birds surrounded Blackbird bird and sang our colors sport a brand new look a touch of black was all it took oh beautiful black uh-huh uh-huh black is beautiful uh-huh and that is the story of beautiful blackbird by ashley bryan